the Naval Academy Museum presents a history of the Navy in 100 objects. The Korean War from 1950 to 1953 is often called the Forgotten War, but what is even less known is that Americans had actively been engaged in Korea for almost a century prior to this conflict. The conclusion of the Civil War ended a significant chapter in the U.S. Navy's history and began the next one, one that would see the U.S. Navy rise to become the most powerful maritime force the world had ever seen. The Navy consolidated its forces and began to return to normalcy after four years of civil war. With that return to normalcy came a return to the pursuit of exploration and of new commercial partners around the world. In the 19th century, as in the 21st, the Navy looked to the Pacific. In 1854, Commodore Matthew Perry negotiated the first treaty with the insular power of Japan and therefore firmly established U.S. naval presence in the region. However, less known is that less than 20 years later, similar expeditions were sent to the Kingdom of Korea by various global powers, including the U.S. And, in keeping with their shipboard routes, the United States Marine Corps accompanied the Navy in its excursions across the globe. Our object today is a Medal of Honor presented to a Marine private for gallantry during the Korean Incident of 1871. This incident occurred five years after one of the first American outreaches to the Korean Kingdom ended disastrously. The General Sherman Incident in 1866 occurred when the armed merchant steamer General Sherman was attacked while she was upriver near Pyongyang in an early attempt to establish a commercial relationship with Korea. After a desperate defense, the crew was overwhelmed and killed. Five years later, Admiral John Rogers would take a small fleet back to the same area to attempt to negotiate a treaty. Rogers came from a prominent naval family. His father, Commodore Rogers, had won fame commanding some of the legendary frigates of the U.S. Navy, like the USS Constitution, during both the Barbary Wars and the War of 1812. Admiral Rogers' uncles from his mother's side were the Perry brothers, one of whom was Commodore Matthew Perry. The family continued to sire well-known naval leaders who attained high rank well into the 20th century, and their home was north of Annapolis in Havre de Grace. But, like the General Sherman's effort, Rogers' expedition to North Korea also ended poorly, and it resulted in Rogers' men and the accompanying Marine contingent storming the forts guarding the mouth of the Han River. Nine sailors and six Marines were awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions. Private Hugh Purvis seized the Korean flag, for which he was awarded his medal. This marked the first time that the medal had been awarded for combat on foreign soil. Up till that point, the Medal of Honor had been awarded for bravery during the Civil War and for peacetime bravery during the post-war period. 1866 Naval Academy graduate Lieutenant Hugh McKee led the assault on the Korean forts and was killed leading the charge over a parapet. However, although the men who took his place, as well as tended to his wounds, were awarded the Medal of Honor, McKee himself was not because officers were not made eligible for the medal until 1915. Rogers failed in his overall objective of establishing commercial relations with Korea. It would be another nearly 20 years before Americans would successfully conclude such a treaty. Now, for a little bit more about the conflict and our object today, we go to Jim Cheevers, Senior Curator of the Naval Academy Museum. Uh, highly honored to have on exhibit here in the U.S. Naval Academy Museum the Medal of Honor earned by Private Hugh Purvis during the Korean incident of 1871. The Koreans had uh, taken one of our merchant ships and actually slaughtered the crew. Uh, so the Navy was sent to negotiate uh, some kind of understanding with what was then known as the Hermit Kingdom. Uh, and Korea, and most often in the English language at that time, was spelt with a C rather than a K. Um, anyway, Admiral, Rear Admiral uh, John Rogers and a group of ships uh, visited Korea to try to negotiate. Uh, we brought our uh, ambassador to China with him. Uh, unfortunately, the Koreans uh, weren't up to speaking 
and uh, it ended up in a shooting incident against some forts on the Han River. Uh, the Koreans actually fought to the last man, uh, and uh, our troops made off with uh, some interesting uh, souvenirs, including the flag that's uh, hanging behind Private Purvis, who sits standing there on the deck of the USS Colorado, which was the flagship of the American uh, fleet in this incident.